A young girl named Ida is riding a car with her family, and they move to a new place, because her father got a new job there. Ida looks at her sister Anna, and is very sad for her. And this is because Anna suffers from a neurological disease, that makes her unable to speak. On top of that, she does involuntary movements and doesn't feel any pain in her body. So, their parents take special care of Anna, but this makes Ida jealous of her. They all arrive at the new house where they will live. And when they finish arranging the house, Ida is talking to her mother. She tells her that she wanted to enjoy this vacation and spend a nice time instead of spending her vacation moving to a new house. But her mother tells her that she is going to join a new school and there she'll meet new friends. Then, she'll enjoy her time very much. Ida asks her for sitting with her for a while, but her mother tells her that she should sleep and refuses to sit with her then she leaves. On the second day, Ida goes out to play and takes a walk in the area, but she feels bored. After that, she meets a young boy of her age, named Ben. He lives close to their house, and goes to get to know her. Ben offers her to come with him, to the woods to play with each other, and she agrees. When they arrive there, Ben tells her that he can move objects remotely using his mind. But Ida can't believe him, and makes fun of him. So, he decides to prove to her that, and tells her to bring a stone and throw it before him, and he will make this stone move by looking at it. She throws the stone, but he can't do that, and he can't move it. Then, he asks her to give him another chance. Ida throws the stone again, but surprisingly, Ben can move the stone and throw it far using only his mind. Ida is shocked and very impressed by this. So, she asks him how does he do that, and he tells her, he trains a lot of to that. She asks him to throw the stone before her, and she'll try to move it with her mind. He agrees and throws the stone at her, but she tries to move it with her mind and can't. Meanwhile, Ida tells him that she is doing strange movements too. She twists her hands in a strange way, which is difficult for any person to do. After that, they are still playing and joking together all day. She returns home, and tells her mother and father about Ben. But as usual, they aren't interested in what she says. And they care for her sister Anna. Shortly after, they take her to the doctor. So, Ida annoys and leaves him. She then walks and goes down to sit alone while she is upset. By chance, she sees some broken glass falling on the ground. And Ida puts it in her sister's boot to make her hurt. Unfortunately, her mother gives the boot to her sister, and she doesn't notice the broken glass. On top of that, her sister doesn't talk because she doesn't feel any pain. Then, they all go to the doctor, but he notices that Anna can't walk. And when she takes off her boots, she notices that her leg is bleeding. They treat her legs quickly, but they can't know how she got hurt. And they go home. The next day, the mother forces Ida to take her sister while she goes outside to play. But she doesn't want anyone to see her with her sister. While she is staying with Anna, Ben comes and sits with her. Ida tells him about her sister's condition, and says that she almost doesn't see or feel any pain. So, they try to pinch Anna and spit on her. And when they get bored, they leave her alone and go play together. While they are playing, a young man annoys them, and they go to play in another place far from Anna. When they are walking, a girl named Aisha comes and sits with Anna. She is talking to her as if she knows her for a long time. At the same time, Ida and Ben are playing in the woods. And while they are playing, they see a cat walking before them. So, they tell each other a crazy idea, which is taking a cat and throwing it from the top of the building, and see if the cat will die or survive. But when they go out to see the cat, they find it dying. Meantime, Ben decides to kill her and save her from her torment. When Ida knows that he'll do this, she becomes upset and affected. Then, Ida goes to her sister. But she is surprised that Anna isn't there. So, she asks everyone where she went, until she finds Anna playing with Aisha. And she sees that they love each other. By then, Ida feels worried about what is happening. And she tells Anna to get up to go home. But the strange thing is that Anna doesn't want to go back with her, and wants to stay with Aisha. So, Aisha decides to go home with them. Before they go out to the house, Aisha asks Ida if she can go out with her tomorrow. And Ida tells her that she'll try. On the second day, Ida asks her father and mother to take her sister and go out. They both agree, but are surprised, because Ida hates going out with her sister very much. Then, Ida goes out with her sister, and takes her to Aisha's house, to play together. After that, 
Ida goes looking for the cat they threw yesterday. But when she sees the cat, she is surprised that the cat is tied up and killed in an ugly way. She is afraid and decides to go and sit with Aisha and Anna. When Ida goes to them, she finds Ben sitting with them, and she finds them sitting and watching a small dish move by itself from a distance. Ida knows that Ben is who moves this dish, but he tells her that Anna is the one who doing this, and she is impressed by her sister's ability. Then, she sits and plays with them. Ben moves the stone from a distance, and they are all happy. At that moment, Ben asks Anna if she can move the stone like him, but Aisha tells him that she can't do that. Ida is surprised and asks Aisha how she knew that. Aisha explains to her that she also has superpowers and can read thoughts. But she can't do that with all people. Plus, she can't communicate or read the thoughts of everyone she meets. But the strange thing is that she can communicate with Anna easily. And they understand each other. Ida feels happy about this and they keep playing with each other and showing their superpowers. Meanwhile, Ida's mother calls her to come home quickly. So, Ida says goodbye to them and takes her sister then go home. The next day, they all gather again, and keep playing with each other. While they're playing, they make fun of Ben, and he feels annoyed. Then, he fights with all of them and walks away. Ida notices that Anna's legs are wounded, and she remembers that Anna isn't in pain. But Aisha tells her that Anna feels the same pain as them. However, she can't express it in any way. Ida then suggests to Aisha to try to get Anna talking. Aisha is surprised by this idea, then communicates with Anna mentally, and tells her how to speak. Actually, Anna can pronounce a few words, and all of them feel happy about this. After that, Ida takes her sister, and they return home. As soon as their mother sees wounds of Anna, she fights with Ida, because she didn't take good care of her sister. Ida asks Anna to tell their mother that she is fine and can speak. But this time, Anna doesn't say a word. Their mother feels that Ida is making fun of her sister and shouting at her again. Then, Ida enters her bed and stays alone. Meanwhile, Ben sits with his mother in the kitchen and fights with her. After that, he uses his strength then hits her and burns her leg. And when she wakes up, she begs him to call an ambulance. But he doesn't care and keeps watching her. On the next day, he goes out for a walk in the street, and accidentally sees the boy who annoyed him before, but he gets scared and goes home. Then, Ben wants to take revenge on him, and he makes some strange movements until he controls his neighbor. After that, he makes his neighbor attack the boy with a stone to get rid of him. The next day, Ida hears about the accident, then goes there and is shocked. She sees Ben standing at the place of the accident, and he looks strange. Then, she goes to talk to him, and asks what is his problem. Ben tells her that he discovered a new superpower, which is to control human. He can control anyone, and make him do whatever he wants. But she doesn't believe him, and tells him to prove this. He begins to do the same strange movements as before, and makes her walk against her will. Then, she believes him. They both go to watch a group of boys playing soccer. And while they are watching, Ben controls one of the boys and breaks his leg. Ida doesn't know that he did that, but Aisha knows because of the power of her telepathy. Meantime, Aisha comes to stop Ben from this. But when he sees her, he uses his power and tries to kill her from a distance. At the same time, Ida manages to stop him. So, he becomes nervous and attacks them both. But suddenly, Anna enters. And once he sees her, he runs away, because he knows that she has the same strength as him. And maybe even stronger than him. When he returns home, he becomes angry about what happened, and thinks of a way to take revenge on them all. He thinks to kill Aisha, because she knows him well. Ben takes control of Aisha's mother, then makes her attack Aisha and then stabs her. When her mother sees what she did to her daughter, she collapses, and then tries to ask for help, but unfortunately, it's too late. When Anna knows what happened to her close friend, she collapses, and she feels lost. Ida feels sad too, and they go to her grave. After that, they return home and Ida tries to make her sister good. Ida knows well that Ben did this and decides to get rid of him before he gets rid of her and her sister. She thinks to tell their family what Ben did, but she knows that no one believes her. Then, she decides to take revenge on herself. On the second day, she goes out alone and gives Ben a new toy. It seems that she bought the toy to make peace with him. Then, 
he becomes happy with this, and they keep playing with each other. Ida takes him to a high bridge, and she pretends that they will play on the bridge. Meanwhile, a woman shouts at them and tells them to stay away from the bridge. But Ida makes him fall from the bridge, then runs and goes to hide in the woods. Unfortunately, he is still alive. Then, Ben makes her go on the road, and she finds herself is about to hit by a car. But she manages to save herself and only her legs get hurt. After that, Ida finds herself in the hospital, and her mother beside her. When Ida becomes okay, she returns to her home. But she is very afraid, because she knows that Ben wants to kill her. After a while, Anna is playing at the lake before their house, but sees Ben on the other side. She then stands because she wants to take revenge on him, for what he did to her best friend. And they talk from a distance using their superpowers. At first, Ben can win this battle. But Ida supports her sister and helps her against Ben. And the two sisters manage to defeat Ben and get rid of him. Then, they both come back home, and they are happy. And although Ida didn't be close to her sister in the beginning, but now she loves her. Thanks for watching, take care, and see you in the next video. Big dog status, I'm a big dog, bitch. I pull up on the